Hi students, I am Maithli. This is 12th Business Max Integral Calculus 1. La. We have to see the second chapter. Okay, in this exercise 2.10. Okay, so 2.10 la gamma integral. Okay, so gamma integral means here they have given some definitions and properties are given. Okay, so in the definition of the formulas, the properties of the formulas, we have to do the sums. Okay, now we will see the definitions. See here, definition for n is greater than 0, integral 0 to infinity, x to the power of n minus 1, e power minus x dx is known as the gamma function, is denoted by gamma n. Okay, so we have to write the gamma function on the present denote panel. Okay, this is the gamma of n. Okay, so in the functions, if we have to write gamma of n, gamma of n equal to this function like that. Okay, see here, they have given one note, if n is a positive integer, then integral 0 to infinity x to the power of n e to the power of minus ax into dx. In the n the n value positive value we have to use this formula. That is n factorial divided by a to the power of n plus 1. We have to use this formula. Okay, n value positive chana. Suppose negative chana, we can use this. Okay, so here n is positive means we have to use this formula only. Okay, see here and then they have given some um, properties. Here four formulas they have given. That is, it is a very, very, very important formulas. That is, gamma n equal to n minus 1, gamma n minus 1, n is greater than 1. Okay. So, just gamma of n. In the matto kudutthu n n value nam edhuva vanal irukkila. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, etc. In the number vanal irukkila. Abdi irundhudhu na, we have to take n minus 1, gamma n minus 1, n is greater than 1. Same thing, gamma n plus 1. n plus 1 inakka, gamma n n gamma of n n is greater than 0 okay n plus 1 in irundadana we have to write like this and then gamma n plus 1 okay so here gamma n plus 1 equal to n factorial okay so we can write like this and then uh, gamma of uh, n by 2 okay so gamma of 1 by 2 this is equal to gamma pi we can write okay so by n plus 1 can get the getting now gamma n plus 1 equal to n into gamma n this is the one formula so second is the same thing gamma n plus 1 equal to n factorial so gamma n plus 1 could two formulas are there okay we can use this formula or this formula anyone we can use okay we'll do we'll go for the sums okay we'll see the first sum evaluate the following First thing, gamma of 4. Second subdivision is gamma of 9 by 2. Okay. First, we will see the gamma of 4. Okay. So, the gamma of 4, see here, gamma of 4. So, we have a formula. Already, we have a formula. So, what formula we have to use? That is gamma of n. Gamma of n equal to n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1 this is the first property okay and the first property use panida we have to do this sums okay so for that here gamma 4 equal to here n ka badala, we have 4 so you just write 4 4 equal to 4 minus 1 gamma 4 minus 1 okay and then this is equal to now just write 4 minus 1 means this is 3 okay so 3 gamma 4 minus 1 is 3 okay see here so already once again in the formula the lender gana gamma of n. Okay, so n gamma n. So if n gamma n we can write gamma we can write gamma n plus one. Okay, so n gamma n abdina we can write gamma n plus one abdina dikla. Okay. So like this three gamma three. Apparently either maybe gamma n plus one. So this is three plus one. Okay, so again gamma n plus 1. So fourth property will enter in Sorry, third property la gamma n plus 1. Abdi we can write n factorial in the Okay, so same thing here n plus 1. Abdi we can write 3 factorial. Abdi 3 plus 1. Abdi we can write gamma. Sorry, we can write this is equal to. 3 factorial in the Okay, so n plus 1 in the n factorial in the Same thing, 3 plus 1 abdi in the we can write 3 factorial. Okay, so 3 factorial in the 3 into 2 into 1. Okay, so this is equal to 2 3 is a 6. 1 6 is a 6. So 6. Therefore, gamma 4 is the answer. Gamma 4 equal to 6. This is the answer. 
Is that clear? No? So, for all the properties we are using. Okay. So, this is the first property. So, in the first property, we are in the 3 gamma 3. I mean, n gamma n. Okay. Again, we can write gamma n plus 1. Now, we can write gamma n plus 1. So, 3 plus 1. Again, gamma n plus 1, we can write n factorial. So, for that, I am writing 3 to 3 factorial. Okay. So, 3 factorial, I am writing 3 into 2 into 1. So, the moon multiply panning in a gamma 4 equal to 6. This is the answer. Okay. We will see the second sum. That is. So, next second sum is. Gamma 9 divided by 2. Okay. So, we have to write gamma 9 by 2. So, same thing we have to use. 9 by 2 means first we have to use this formula. Gamma n equal to n minus 1. Gamma n minus 1. Okay. So, same thing here. This is equal to, so in n kubala we have gamma 9 divided by 2 is there. Okay, so 9 by 2 this is equal to n. So in n kubala we can write 9 by 2 minus 1. And then gamma 9 by 2 minus 1 is there. Okay, so again we have to write, so for 9 by 2 minus 1 we can take LCM no. So for 2 LCM at thing, this is 9 minus 2. Same thing here, gamma of 2 LCM at thing, 9 minus 2. Okay, so this is we can write 9 minus 2 means this is 7 by 2 gamma 7 by 2. Okay, so if I write n gamma n. So again we can use, first thing 7 by 2 just write as it is. 7 by 2 matu eldi konga. And then again we have to use, n formula we use panna porona n minus 1 gamma n minus 1. Okay, in the formula use panna poronga. Okay, apu n kubadala here we have 7 by 2. So just write. 7 by 2 minus 1 gamma 7 by 2 minus 1. Okay. So, this is equal to already 7 by 2 is there. Just write 7 by 2 as it is. And then 7 by 2 minus 1. So, I am writing directly that is 5 divided by 2. Then gamma 5 divided by 2. Okay. Then again we can write it in next step. Again in n gamma n. Okay. We have to use this formula. This is equal to n gamma n. Okay. So, just write the 7 by 2 as it is. And then this 5 by 2 as it is. Okay. n gamma n. Again, we have to write 5 by 2 minus 1 gamma 5 by 2 minus 1. So, this is equal to. So, finally, we have 1 by 2. That is the fourth property. Okay. So, last is gamma 1 by 2. We have to proceed. Okay. So, just write it here. 7 by 2 into 5 by 2. And then here. I will say this is 3 by 2. Gamma 3 by 2. Okay. So, again. We will use n gamma n. That formula we have to use. Okay. Okay. We will see that. So, here again. 7 by 2. 5 by 2, 3 by 2, gamma 3 by 2. So, this is equal to, this term equal to, right, 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 into 3 by 2. Again, the pain of formula on the again, n, gamma, n. Okay. So, same thing, n minus 1, gamma, n minus 1. This formula we have to use. So, for that, 3 by 2 is there. Okay. So, 3 by 2 minus 1, gamma, 3 by 2. Okay. So, this is equal to, now, 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 here in the middle see thing and this is another room finally 1 by 2 lcm okay so here gamma of sorry here also 3 by 2 minus 1 okay so this is 1 divided by 2 on the okay so this term equal to finally just multiply everything okay multiply in a denominator 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16. So, numerator full and the terms multiply by 3, 5 is 15. 15 into 7 that is 105. Okay. So, we have remaining n here. Gamma 1 by 2. Okay. So, in the fourth property we have this is 105, 16. Okay. Fourth property gamma 1 by 2 this is equal to pi. Okay. So, gamma 1 by 2 we can write pi. So, just write it here. Sorry. It is root pi. Okay, so we can write it here. This is root pi. So final answer is 105 gamma pi divided by 16. Okay, so this is the answer for gamma 9 by 2. Okay, is that clear? No? 
ஓகே எதாவது டவுட்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா கண்டிப்பாக கமெண்ட் பாக்ஸில் போடுங்க என்னுடைய வீடியோஸ்லாம் உங்களுக்கு பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா மறக்காமல் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் லைக் பண்ணுங்கள் ஷேர் பண்ணு